Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand what is public group in Salesforce. But uh, before jumping to this video, I would like to thank you all for subscribing and helping me to complete my 50 subscriber milestone. And if you are finding my video helpful, please subscribe. It gives me a lot of motivation to run this channel. So now let's jump to our video. <coughs> So when we want to create a group of people who are not within the same role hierarchy, in such cases we create a public group. So for an example, <coughs> let's jump to our uh, notepad. So for an example, if you want the CEO and the CEO in the COO in the same group, it can be easily done using a public group. And the main functionality of the public group is to share the records. So if you visit my sharing setting video, uh, link for the same is in the description. You will notice that we can share the record with roles, roles and subordinates, roles and roles hierarchy, and public group. So, if you want to share the record with a group of user with not same role hierarchy, public group should be your solution. So, let's jump to a Salesforce org and create a public group. So, just search for public group here in the quick find. So after typing public, you will be able to see such kind of public groups under the user and if you click on it, you will be landing on this page. So now, click on new to create a new public group. And right now, we want CEO and CEO in the same public group. So this is an executive group. So let's write executive group and the API name is automatically populated. Now this is where you can add the members to your public group. You can add the members to a public group from another public group. You can add the members to a public group by a role. So whoever, whichever user has the role as CEO will be automatically added to this 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 uh, group. So we want CEO and COO role or to be added to the selected member. So all the users having the role as CEO and CEO will be automatically the part of the executive group. So now we can click on save. And our public group of executives is automatically created even though they have two different roles same people are in the same public group D different types of the roles of people are in the same public group so now in the next video we're going to understand what's manual sharing and how public group can be used for sharing if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel